Hey everybody, East Texas Brim Buster here. I've been wanting to do a video about my boat. I got a new boat and I've had it for a year now and that's why I, I wanted to wait till I'd used it for a little while before I made a video on it. And so I figured today I'd do it since I'm out on the lake and I'm gonna have to go here pretty quick. So what I got is an, I got an Express H17. I went a little bit smaller this time and I like it. I'm glad I did. I did it for a couple of reasons, but uh, anyway, that's what it is. Express H17. It's got the C-deck uh, in it. I put me uh, one of these uh, Millennium seats in it. They're, it's, it's very comfortable. I like it. I went with all Garmin on the uh, trolling motor. That's a nine inch on the front. You see, I've got it on an, an extended ram mount to get it up a little bit. Uh, there's the pedal. And uh, the pedal is not hardwired. It's running on batteries. And I, I picked it up Thanksgiving weekend last year. So I've had it a year and a couple of weeks now. And I'm still on the same battery that's in there. I, I need to change it because they say it's only supposed to last a season, but it's lasted, what is that? It's lasted a year. So, and uh, here's the back of the boat. Uh, it's trimmed out in orange. It's black and trimmed out in orange. And I like it. I think it's neat. Got a Yamaha 90 on it. And uh, it'll run It'll run 40 if you ask it to. Uh, I, I don't, the, when I took it back for the break-in, to, to have the oil changed on the break-in, they told me I wasn't running it hard enough. They said, Yamahas, you need to run them every now and then. So every now and then I go to the back of the lake when I'm ready to come home and then I just run all the way up to the front and I've had it up to 41. And that's way too fast, but I do it from my mechanic because I don't want them mad at me. But uh, this is the first Yamaha I've ever had. I've always had Mercury's up till now. Uh, it's been a year now, I, no complaints. It runs like a scalded dog, uh, no problems with it. It's the 90 uh, show, four stroke, and I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the back deck, I got storage over there, storage over here, and they're nice big boxes. Uh, I got all, that's where I keep my gloves and spare stuff. I've got all kinds of stuff in here. That's the live well, and it works. Uh, it keeps your fish alive. Uh, this is the uh, console. I got a seven inch. I wanted it in the console. I didn't want it uh, mounted out, so I put a seven inch in there. It's a Garmin also. I don't remember which Garmin it is. Uh, it's, 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 it's one of the fancy ones. Uh, UHD or something along those lines and the one up front I do not have live scope on the boat but this one up front will do live scope if I ever decide to put it on there but I haven't and uh, let me say about this trolling motor I said it, it's, it's the Garmin Force and uh, it's a, a hundred I think 101 102 pound thrust and uh, so far, I have no complaints about it. If I had a complaint, it would be that it, it needs a little bit of a wind to actually anchor down. Like today, it, it wants to wander because it, it just, but if you got a little bit of wind, it, it'll anchor down and hold you right there. It's got all kinds of adjustments, uh, fine tuning it on the remote control. I've, I've used most of it. Uh, it does the, uh, the trail uh, I can go to a, like if I'm fishing a brush pile here with the remote I can tell it and it'll go to the, my next brush pile you know those kind of things and with the thrust on this rascal I can move this boat around six miles an hour just with the trolling motor so a lot of the lakes I fish which is why I went to a smaller boat a lot of the lakes that I fish once I launch it I don't, you know, really 
Sometimes I don't get on the, the big motor for a long time. I just move around with the trolling motor because it'll do it. Uh, the storage up on the front deck is nice. Got this big one here in the middle. I keep my bath stuff in there. And then you've got these two over here and they're both very large. I've got all my crappie stuff in there. And then in this one, I'm hoping you can see all this. I've got all my brim stuff. I keep my uh, Garmin covers in there when I'm not to, uh, when I'm fishing. And then I keep just some other stuff in there with my brim stuff. And then the rod locker. Now, they'll tell you if you call them and talk to them or look at the things that it's a six foot rod locker. Okay. That's what they tell you. The rod locker is huge. I've got uh, bass stuff in there. I've got other crappie rods in there. I've got two eight foot crappie rods in there. Okay. They're not bent. They're not crooked. They're, they're just laying in there straight. I've got a uh, seven foot three uh, uh, bass rod in there and two or three seven foot. So they, they say it's a six foot, but, but as I'm saying, I've got uh, two eight foots in there and uh, no problems. So, oh, it's got a, uh, it's got a radio in it. I've used it a couple of times. Nothing aggravates me more than to be out fishing and have somebody pull up or come by and radio just to blare and, and uh, it just aggravates me. But anyway, I have used it a time or two and it, it's nice. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, when, when you want it, it, it's nice. So, But I'm out here to fish and uh, I, I fish, I concentrate on my fishing. I pray a lot. Uh, you know, so I, I don't really particularly care for it, but it's in here. Oh, and then the storage under the seat. That's a, you got, I had them take the middle seat out. I don't like the a middle seat in, in the boat like that. And so I had them take it out, but the, you got a big box storage under there. And there's, you can put a lot of stuff in there. I don't have a lot in there right now, but, but you can put a lot of stuff in there. So, um, been a year and i'm very well pleased with my boat and i would also like to give a shout out to ship marine in gladewater texas uh, they uh, made me an excellent deal when i bought the thing uh, they they treated me right in my opinion on my trade-in uh, they gave me more than anybody local even got close to and every time that i've, I've had it back to um for like i said for the uh, oil change after the I got the break-in hours on it. Uh, they did it. They, I got nothing but good to say about Ship Marine. And they installed everything. And the electronics all work. I mean, they didn't just stick the transducers on. My uh, electronics here in the uh, console, It uh, when I put it on a standard traditional sonar, even when I'm up on plane and running like 30, it works. I've never, I've never had a boat that did that. This one does. Even up to 30, 35, the standard still works. So uh, that way I can split the screen and look at my maps while I'm running and have that sonar going there. So if I go over a hump, you know, or I see something, I can mark it. And uh, to me, that's awesome. Uh, one other thing that I did not do that I will probably do when I take it back uh, for my next oil change is uh, my two uh, units, they don't talk to each other. Now, that's not that big of a deal, but for some people it is. And uh, I, I, I may get them hooked up when, when uh, uh, I take it back, get, get ship to hook it up for me where they'll talk to each other. And the main thing there is the waypoints. If I mark a waypoint at the console, then it'll be up there. But I don't have that much trouble finding what I've marked when I get up on the trolling motor. And typically, I throw out a buoy anyway. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, share with you about my boat because I really do like it. Let me see if I can get you a picture of this. 
H17 Hyperlift Bass Boat. And uh, this, uh, oh, this uh, C deck, that's the stuff right there. I've been pleased with that. Yeah, it doesn't get hot. Uh, uh, one other thing about this Express, I, I had a Triton before this, and the Triton sweated, as, as in when I went to get a rod out, you know, th they were sweating. So far, this Express hadn't sweated, and I've had it now over two, well, one winter, one summer, going into my next winter, and I haven't had any sweating problems with this thing. So I think that's it. It's got a step up to the uh, front deck that my other boat did not have, and I like that. The little bit older I get, I, my back and my knees, uh, I have no complaints whatsoever with the boat. And it handles when 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 you're up on plane, it handles like a dream. Uh, it just and the ninety is perfect for this boat, which that's it's the highest engine it's rated for, but but it's perfect so that's all i just wanted to tell you about my boat and uh, i'm in east texas obviously east texas brim buster if you're ever over here in the area i live in nacogdoches is where i live uh, give me a shout if you're in the area and and we'll we'll go get on some all right have a good day and god bless you